Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video. I hope that you guys are doing really fantastic this Friday morning. And so we will be taking a look at what is currently going on across the Caribbean and surrounding areas as well as what could happen. Models are still showing that we could be seeing something develop as we head into maybe the latter part of next week go into the following week. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. And so as we return to the coast of Africa, here we can see that there's a bit of activity in the area. Nothing much. We're not seeing any big blobs over there, but a tropical wave will be emerging very soon. And we could see it try to develop as it makes its way across the uh, main development region. However, as it heads more west, conditions could become more favorable. And uh, matter of fact, GFS is showing something rather interesting that is certainly not impossible. So I will be going into all of that soon. But firstly, we want to look at what what is currently happening across the Caribbean and southern areas going to northern South America and parts of the southern Caribbean. Here we can see that uh, for the Guyana's nothing much happening. It should be a sunny morning for the most part. Bit of activity near Trinidad and Tobago and there might be some more showers uh, at some point as we head through today especially going to this afternoon. In some spots in Venezuela with a thunderstorm activity popping up and similar story for Colombia and parts of Panama as well. And then uh, for the ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Benir, there isn't much happening at the moment. Let's move up. And here we can see that across most of the Lesser Antilles, there isn't much. So there's quite a bit of dry air, uh, maybe a bit of dust as well. That Saharan dust in the area. So some of you guys might notice some hazy skies out there. That's the Saharan dust. But as we look at the vicinity of the Northern Caribbean, going up into parts of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, there is a lot of moisture enhancing that activity activity for that reason quite a bit of rainfall is possible across some spots throughout today so we will be looking at the rainfall maps very shortly and then across some spots in Jamaica especially western parishes there was quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity last evening and for some of us it even continued into the night so it was very much welcomed and you can let me know if your area actually received any rainfall yesterday going over into the rest of Central America there isn't anything much just some isolated thunderstorms and uh, a bit of activity is also near the Cayman Islands. And onto the rainfall map, starting out with GFS. So as we see more of these shades of yellows, oranges, reds, higher rainfall totals expected. So we can see that over in the east again, there are some drier conditions there. So much not expected for most islands. But uh, there could be a passing shower or even a brief thunderstorm uh, sometime through today. But as we head closer to Trinidad, there is a better rainfall chance. So there could be some showers at times in some spots through today. Not for everywhere, but some spots could experience a bit of rainfall activity. Things should be dry for the most part uh, throughout today for the Guyana. Maybe some thunderstorms popping up, especially across northern Guyana and Suriname. But for the most part, nothing much is expected. However, as we head to Venezuela, especially going to uh, western Venezuela and also into Colombia, we can see that a lot more rainfall is expected also for Panama and parts of Costa Rica and in some other spots of Central America such as Mexico, Guatemala there could also be some activity popping up especially as we head to the afternoon as a result of that daytime heating. Heading up into the northern Caribbean islands as I said there's all that moisture there so that should help to enhance the rainfall for some spots so some islands across the Bahamas going to Cuba maybe some spots in the Cayman Islands and even Jamaica as well and then as we look at euro euro is showing something pretty similar here showing that uh the turks and caicos islands bahamas cuba jamaica cayman islands could experience some periods of heavy rainfall and uh, especially as we head to this afternoon and similar story across some parts of northern south america particularly for western venezuela parts of colombia and even going into some spots in central america panama costa rica a bit of rainfall probable for some spots in trinidad and northern uh, the northern Guyanas and then uh, over in some spots in the Lesser Antilles maybe some passing showers as I said and uh, nothing too crazy today should be sunny for the most part now for areas such as in parts of the northern Caribbean and uh, sections of Central and Northern South America expected to receive a lot of heavy rainfall there is going to be that chance of flooding so with a lot of heavy rainfall especially in a short amount of time comes the possibility of flash flooding and so guys if you encounter such a scenario please do not take any 
unnecessary risks. Do not attempt to cross flooded roadways or bridges and stay safe as best as you can. And so that is what we see uh, being expected today guys and here we have the dry air map so uh, we already see more of these shades of oranges reds that is areas of a lot more dry air very dense dry air within those spots such as looking off the coast of africa so uh, there is a pretty good amount of dry air out there and uh, that usually helps to prevent any significant organization when it comes on to tropical waves so we typically find that there isn't much happening just as we're seeing now things have been pretty quiet for some time across the main development region because this dry air induces stability however things should gradually get a bit, a bit more conducive as we head to later this month going to next month and uh, there's even some of that dry air extended into the caribbean as well so if you're in parts of puerto rico the virgin islands and even the lesser Antilles, you might notice that it is looking pretty hazy out there now in terms of what models are expected we're going to be starting out with the gfs and so uh this is as we're going to be heading into saturday of next week so gfs not expecting imminent development but rather as we head to the latter part of next week the model is showing that we're going to have something approaching the caribbean but struggling out there a tropical wave and that seems very much likely as a result of all the dry air in the area so uh things will eventually start to get more more conducive across the main development region but for now the dry air is quite dominant so as we head to saturday of next week all that activity in association with the wave approaching the caribbean and making its way across northeastern islands now take a look at this as we head to thursday the 24th not next thursday but the following thursday gfs is showing that a low pressure area is going to develop in the midst of all this activity uh and then eventually shows that we're going to have a tropical storm developing in the gulf of mexico as we head to saturday of that week saturday the 26th of august and then eventually showing intensification heading to sunday the 27th and that is the end of this model run this is quite interesting here and not something that would be surprising to see and the gulf of mexico is notorious for producing some very major hurricanes or resulting in very rapid intensification because of the very warm sea surface temperatures there and remember this year the temperatures are above average record temperatures across the gulf of mexico so if this truly happens and other environmental conditions are conducive then it could uh, things could go south very very quickly and once something enters the gulf someone is going to be affected so let's hope that this won't actually be the scenario however it is a possible one and uh, we're talking about something that is some time out from now so predictions forecasts they will change between now and then and that is why my channel is here to keep you guys posted with all of the latest expected now going on to the euro now this is as we head into thursday of the coming week the 17th of the month here we see all the activity in association with these uh, tropical waves and then as we head to uh, late sunday the 20th of august there we see something developing or trying to get itself together in the caribbean look at all that moisture in association with it so uh contrary to uh, gfs euro is expecting that we could start to see development as the system enters the caribbean the canadian model is being bullish expecting two storms out there by the this time and then the icon model is also expecting that as we're going to be heading to the letter of next week we could start to see some development across the main development region and uh, we're even seeing this trend where these models are expecting that we're going to have something enter in the caribbean either as a developing system or even a wave and uh, even a robust tropical wave is enough to uh, result in flooding periods of very heavy rainfall and even those gusty winds at times so it's definitely time to keep our eyes out there on the tropics and the caribbean should definitely be on watch for this upcoming tropical wave but i'm here to keep you guys posted and so that is what i wanted to share with you in this update i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond once i get the chance and as always remember to be weatherwise